In part two of our series, we're going to go through the registration steps. I'm going to show you the ways that you can either sign up as a new registrant or sign in if you've already participated in the past. Um, sometimes it does get confusing on which one you have done, so hopefully this will shed a little light on the ways that you can get the most out of your participant center when registering. When you go to the site, the first thing you'll see is the main screen. Uh, choose which one of the areas you're going to participate in and click on the Go button underneath that city. On the next page, you'll see a place where you can look at all the information about where to register, all the information. But we want to click on Register as an Individual, Form a Team, Join a Team, or Donate. Register as an Individual will create the ability to, for you to register again. Um, it brings you up to this screen right here. If you have already participated in the past, you get to log in. Uh, this is my uh, pre-populated login information. You don't know my password, obviously. But I know that I have participated at some point in the past, so I can use my uh, user-created name and password to log in again to start registration. If I have forgotten my login information, um, and that sometimes does happen, you can click on Email Me My Login Information to get that information. You would then put the email that you think that you registered with in there and click Send Username. It will then send you a username uh, request to your email, so that way then you can come back and then reset your password from there. So always start at this option first if you've ever donated or participated with AIDS Walk Ohio. If I have never participated as a participant before, then I can click Join as a new participant, and that's what we're going to do right now. You'll see lots of registration options on the next page to uh, continue. Uh, if you go down through, you can see that there are all the options, and all you have to do is click on one to continue. We're just going to, for, for uh, demonstration purposes, we're just going to click on the 5K run and bar crawl. Scroll down. If you have any discount codes, uh, enter them there. Sometimes we do run specials. Uh, set your fundraising goal. Uh, to become a Grand Walker and to meet the celebrity for the year, uh, we ask you that you set your goal at $1,000, but it is already pre-populated to $500. Uh, the next section is, would you like to make an additional gift to, aid, to get the AIDS Walk t-shirt? If you want to uh, get the t-shirt, you have to raise $75. So this is just a way for you to go, I'm going to take the amount that I'm going to already be paying as my registration fee, which in this case is $50, and then I can add uh, an additional amount to it, or a pre-populated amount to get that $75 to make sure that I can get uh, my t-shirt. No, make an additional gift. Yes, let's make it. Make this a gift anonymously, anonymously, or yes, you can display my gift amount, and hit next step. Well, it's going to tell me to correct the errors below because I didn't. I chose additional gift. So the next thing I'm going to do is click out, fill out all the information of uh, that I would then used to enroll. If you sign in to the system, all this information will come up for you. So title, name, first, last, and you'll be able to edit all of that information. So that's one of the best things about the system is that it pulls that information from last year in for you. It's a really great feature so that way you don't have to put everything back in again. It will ask you for your name, and uh, emergency contacts name and phone number, and then if you want to um, click down here, click on the additional information. It's going to ask you uh, some additional questions and what influenced you to participate with AIDS Walk. So that's basically the registration steps. There are other features like when you register as a team captain, uh, if you have done it in the past years, it will ask you to either bring back your team or you can start a new team. If you bring back your team, you're able to click a little button that says access, uh, bring back team from last year, so you would do that during the registration process and just create your team. Creating a team is, is simple and easy to do and we hope that you'll do it as well during your registration to get your friends and family on board. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know.